In both the Generation 2 games and their remakes, Hard Gold and Soul Silver, Whitney's Gym has been notoriously difficult for casual players and hardcore nuzlockers alike. But it doesn't have to be that way. Here's a strategy to guarantee beating Whitney in a hardcore nuzlock of Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Silver. A hardcore nuzlock is a self-imposed challenge mode for Pokemon where you can only catch one Pokemon per route, every feint is permanent, you must play on set mode, and you cannot use items in battle or level pass a gym leader's best Pokemon. It is the most popular way to challenge yourself in a Pokemon game. In the remakes, Whitney has two Pokemon, the most notable being Miltank. Miltank has exceptional stats for a level 19 Pokemon in Johto, coming before you get access to evolutions like Raticate. In addition to that, Miltank has Attract and Stomp, which can luck through your male Pokemon and anything slower than it, Milk Drink, which can heal itself, and Rollout, which can power through your bulkier Pokemon. Miltank even has Scrappy as an ability, meaning that its Stomp will often outrank Faint Ghastly, something that is supposed to beat normal types. Additionally, trying to status Miltank will be blocked by her Lumberry, making Sleep Moves on common early game Bug and Grass types far less viable. A strategy that is often used to beat a gym leader's best Pokemon is to set up on the weaker Pokemon before it. However, that is risky because the Pokemon before Miltank is Clefairy, which has Encore to lock you into setup moves, and then Metronome, which can get lucky and end the run completely. There are rock types that can take on Miltank, but they can be inconsistent due to Stomp flinches and Miltank's ability to heal off damage with Milk Drink. Male Onyx and Geodude especially have issues because of Attract. You can also try and trade a Drowsy for a Machop in the department store, and it is guaranteed to be female, but it's not completely reliable because of Stomp. This means exactly one Pokemon makes Whitney a consistent run, and that Pokemon is Heracross. Heracross is a traditionally good Pokemon with wide coverage, good speed for Johto, above average bulk, and excellent attack. It learns Brick Break at level 19, which can one-shot Clefairy and two-shot Miltank while also being able to tank multiple Stomps. It can also easily attain enough speed IVs by grinding on Magikarp to outspeed Miltank consistently and making the fight zero risk. But most of the time, encountering a wild Pokemon as good as Heracross this early in a Pokemon game is extremely rare. But there is a way to guarantee getting Heracross. Heracross is encounterable in exactly two locations before Whitney, Route 33 and Azalea Town. Heracross is also only available as a headbutt encounter and you can use the headbutt move tutor to teach the move to as many Pokemon as you want. Most Nuzlocke rule sets allow you to ignore duplicate Pokemon and you can use this rule to guarantee catching Heracross. In Azalea Town and Route 33, the places where you can catch Heracross, there are three possible encounters with headbutt. Sparrow, A-Bomb, and Heracross. I.e. there are two locations but three possible Pokemon. So how do you get Heracross? You need to get a Sparrow before you start headbutting in Azalea and Route 33, that way you can guarantee Apom and Heracross in the two locations. When you leave Union Cave to go to Azalea Town, do not take the grass on Route 33. This is important because you want to delay the encounter here to later, that way you can use it to try and get Heracross. Heracross is better than any Pokemon you can get in the wild grass here. Instead, get Sparrow on Route 46. If you don't, there is still a Gift Sparrow named Kenya on Route 35 that you can take. Once you have your Sparrow, you can come back to Route 33. First though, you headbutt in Azalea Town. If you get Heracross there, great, you can choose whatever you want for Route 33. But if you get Apom there, then you headbutt for Heracross in Route 33 because you didn't encounter anything there earlier. Heracross is the only non-duplicate headbutt encounter left in Route 33, so you're guaranteed to get it. With Heracross, you have an easy Whitney. Heracross also has substantial options to boost its already excellent attack. It can learn Swords Dance, which is a TM from the game corner, or if it has the Guts ability, it can burn or poison itself on a wild Pokemon before a battle and have a plus one boost to attack. You can also teach Heracross a Shadow Claw TM, which makes it a very consistent Morty Sweeper if you make it hold a Chesto Berry or pre-burn or poison it to avoid Gengar's Hypnosis. Heracross easily defeats the Steel and Ice type gyms and beats the Fighting type gym with Aerial Ace. It learns Close Combat in time for Claire, where it can one-hit KO almost all of her team, including her Kingdra, after a Swords Dance, provided you come in after Gyarados is Intimidate. Unfortunately, in the Elite Four, however, Heracross isn't as useful as it has some unfortunate type mismatches and doesn't get a strong Bug-type move until after the Elite Four. Still, for the main boss fights of the mid and late game, Heracross is a sweeper that takes a little bit of knowledge to use, but devastates the opposition if you use it right. 
nothing comes close to destroying the inconsistent luck fest that is Whitney's gym the way Heracross does and it remains a dominant force for the rest of the game until the Elite Four. And if you like this video, check out my video about how Giraffe is one of the top Pokemon for the Elite Four in a Heart Gold or Soul Silver Nuzlocke.